Well, my people, we're back in the bus. Proceed to highlight it. Bro. Bloody sat nav's going off again. I've managed to get her out of the uh, static into the bus. It took a fair while, but no, I've done it. No, it really, really hasn't. So we're off to the Cotswolds. We are. We're going to Cotswold View in Charlbury. Charlbury? Charlbury, Oxfordshire. And it's going to take... Bloody hell, it's going to take an hour, over an hour and a half. It says hour and a half. I told you that this morning, but you See, don't yeah, listen. No, no, I've got skin. I've got no diesel. You don't listen, do you? We've got diesel. Yeah, we've got half a tank. I've got half a tank. I don't like going below half a tank. It worries me if I go below half a tank. Oh, stop being a bit OCD. It's like when you get to half a bottle of whiskey. You start to panic. Whiskey? Uh, gin. <laughs> yeah, you start to panic in case I, I run out and you've got to go to the shop. So I'll crack on. Really looking forward to this. After last weekend... We just, just a chill out. Yeah, a chill out weekend. Have a look around the side. It looks beautiful. Just so like me. We'll let you know what it's like. So come with us. I can't believe how many people said I have slim. I look like, uh, in real life. Yeah, but all of them have got white sticks. Believable, folks. Come on, let's go. I can't believe how many people said uh, how short you are. They didn't, though. They said, oh, you look taller in real life. And so she You're had not six inch heels on. No, I didn't. She did. No, I did not. Bloody big clogs on your bloody little fat feet. Well, we'll crack on, people, and show you what's what. Just for rubbish. Okay. Come on. Just kiss her. Do you know it's ten past twelve now? Just kiss her. No. Oh. Go on. No. No. Unbelievable. We've still got oh three quarters of an hour to get there. What? I'll be made for the toffees. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd do it while he's uh, quiet. Just had an email come through, um, and the lady has put hi, Robin Lynn. Thank you so much for a fantastic weekend. Couldn't believe the generosity of everyone there. The hard work that your help has put in, paid off. Can't wait for next year. And then she goes on to say, it's my husband's birthday on the 18th of August. Could you please give him a shout out? His name is Ian Hudson and he's gonna be 57 uh, on the 18th of August. So happy birthday to you from us. Happy birthday to Ian. Sure. Happy birthday, dear Ian. Happy birthday to Ian. Raw, raw, banging on tall. I do apologise about the singing again, but have a wonderful birthday, Ian, with lots of love from us and your lovely wife, Deb. Who uh, I'm going to head in towards, I think, Morton in Marsh. And how stunning is this? I'm sure at some point I've filmed this before, but it's got to be done again. It's just so beautiful. Uh, chocolate boxy. Chocolate boxy? Chocolate box. Oh, sugar. Chocolate box worthy. That's the one. Even. Garden state, teas and gifts. Uh, it's within it? Borton. Oh, is it Borton? Borton on the water then, so it like, must be very close to that. Yeah, very, very pretty. So we've just drove past the caravan and from motorhome club first site. first exit. In uh, Morton on Marsh. Morton in Marsh. Morton on Marsh. In Marsh. I thought it was on Marsh. Oh, Robert, shut up, man. And we have actually stayed there, and what a beautiful little town this is. Yeah, but it is very, very busy. It is extremely busy, but it's, it's, if you want to come here, um, At it's roundabout, a very, take very, very exit. easy walk from the campsite. Probably very expensive, though. But yeah. Everything is, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful town. Well, I'll get the back end out around here, folks. Actually, we went in there, in that pot there. Yeah, it cost me a bloody fortune, I remember it. Oh, she did. Oh! Yeah, I think, yeah, that was close. Jesus hey. Christ! How about that? I've got it on film as well. Unbelievable, folks! <sighs> She was paying attention. Well, there wouldn't be much left in the car, would it? Not if we eat her. So this is... Chippy Norton. Chippy Norton. Oh, we're doing a left up here. When we came to Diddley Squat, we came up here and turned right, remember? We I haven't are... been to Diddley Squat. Oh, shut up, Robert. We're only left. seven minutes away from Diddley Squat at the moment. But we're turning left. So this is Jeremy Clarkson's stomping ground. I don't know why anybody's pulling in front of me today, I'm sure. No. That was a close one on the last one, wasn't it? Silly woman, giving, giving us ladies a bad name in driving. Give us a kiss. Ta -ta, yeah, another lovely Cotswold town. Yeah, but another place always rammed. Yeah, Bloody lost. expensive as well. Oh, 
How do you know? You just rush past all the shops if there's anything open. Oh no, I've got a feeling when places are expensive. Monty Pie Company? Short. The old sweet shop? Short. Oh, Blue Ball. Short. They're lovely, aren't they? The Cotswold Buildings. Take second exit. Cotswold Stone, they look so pretty. Right, but we thought we'd uh, give way to him. He's a bit bigger than us. So yeah, apparently, because this is Childbury Road, it's one and a half miles off this road. It's the B, I've lost it. Oh, it's 2.3 miles. Oh, went out of it here, people. Yes, absolutely lovely. Going away for a quiet, peaceful weekend. Well, it would be if I was on my own. <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. folks. Unbelievable. Yes, and then so many people have met you now, and they thought, surely he can't be like that in real life, and they found out that he is. Only one of me. Like I said, I rescued the saved the female race by taking you off that shelf. I don't know. I didn't make up all over my shirts after the meetup. Yes, you did. So I was grabbing hold of them. <laughs> here we are, and here we are. Is it? Yes, Cotswold. Arriving at destination View on left. Touring Park, Banbury <laughs> Hill Farm. Can I just say, it's a beautiful drive. Absolutely stunning. And this place is vehicle recognition, uh, vehicle number plate recognition, and we've been allocated pitch number six. So, let's see what happens. Oh, it's just what we need, this is, folks. A it nice is. romantic weekend. Oh, no, not romantic, peaceful. So where do we go? Uh, do, 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 do. It's that way, isn't that it? Way. Is I it? Think. I don't is know. it? No, can't be. Oh shoot. <laughs> Guaranteed we're going the wrong way. I don't think we are. Because that looked like it was going more to the farm, so. Lots of cars parked here for the farm. Yes, because it's a bloody car park. Yeah, but. No, I've gone the wrong way. I don't think we are. Yeah, we are. We're oh, lost. No, I think it's down here. Oh, it... loads of tents. Yeah, there are a few tents. I'm just going to wipe the window down and shout happy holidays to him. No, you can't do that. The old shed. Oh, oh. show you that there, look. There's a bar and a restaurant. I'm oh, not going in there. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. He always says that, doesn't he? And I always get my own way in the end. Lots of people walking around. Okay, mate. Are we in the right bloody... Check-in. Place? Check-in? You haven't got check-in, have you? I don't know. Well, we'll get set up, people, yeah. and we'll get back to you. There's the barrier over there on the right-hand side. Happy with that? Happy. Oh, I don't know, I was leave it on there. Yeah. It does look very nice, I must admit. It looks beautiful. Just like me. Oh, pizza, 5.30 tonight. There you go. Not cooking. I don't like pizza. Until the dough runs out. You had a lovely one when we went to Dalesbridge, and you really enjoyed it. There you go. And we are on pitch number six. Which, Where do I find that? Well, when I looked at it, it was about the seventh one up on the left-hand side. Nice toilet block there, folks. Very pretty place. So we'll get set up. And then we'll have a quick snog, and then we'll get back to you after a couple no, of hours. We'll get set up, and we'll see you in a bit. Well, we're all set up, people, on no. a fully serviced pitch. Yeah, we've got water. I'm electric. just going to show them, then. Oh. It's very warm though. It's not very bloody warm. Bloody summer's gone. Yeah, so water there. That's for your wastewater. Electric. I think that's uh, 16 amp, not sure. He's charging the uh, power bank up well. Yeah. What a beautiful, well kept site. Let's start at the beginning and we'll have a look. Oh, you're very really pretty. <laughs> yeah, so you've got a dishwashing area and a laundry around here. Freezers for freezer blocks only. 
This freezer is for freezer blocks only, yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. You've got a laundrette in here. Uh, couple of washing machines, a tumble dryer, a sink, an ironing board, a little ironing board would just suit me. I'm listening, I am here. <laughs> the outdoor sinks. Yes, a very Cotswoldy, as my little angel said. You've got your Elson point there. Yeah, and your Elson point there. You've got your male and female toilets there. And it looks like you've got table tennis over here. And behind the reception, you've even got a tennis court. I agree with that. You get your gas from here. And there's a little car. You can have a go on. Happy with that? And we've just been talking to the uh, the lady. One of the wardens. Carrie. Carrie. And she said this site is very, very popular. But you can see why. Because oh, it's it bang is. on. Absolutely immaculate. And I think it's 40 quid a night with electric. Yeah, that's in the high season. Yes. So, not too bad. We have heard of uh, more sites being a lot more expensive. Yes? Yeah. There you go. I need to go in the shop. And you can get your bats and whatever, and your balls are there, look. Defibrillator. And you can even get rugs. Because they've got pods. Yes, they have. They've got wood, which we're going to try and get into yes. at some point today or tomorrow. And have a look. Some are furnished and some are unfurnished. So yeah, hopefully we can get another look, unless they're all fully booked. And at the reception, you've got a quaint little shop with a fridge, they sell sausages, beers, gin. gin, pop, cans of pop, ice creams, bread, eggs, and etc, etc, etc. And there's a the lady here, she's a bit camera shy. Hold on, Hi. she's a very nice lady. <laughs> and they sell essentials, like the shampoo and the toothbrush yes. that I forgot. She forgot the bloody toothbrush, didn't she? Oh, yeah, I forgot my toothbrush and the shampoo. Unbelievable. Well, you, you should put yours in the glass anyway. How rude. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. That's and your name is? I'm Bev, and you must be Rob. That's the one. <laughs> See? She knows us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. And right opposite the reception, you have a great tenting area, if you're into tenting. You right? Yes, I've just I gave the lady my shampoo and my toothbrush back. I said, can you hang on to this till I've gone back? Because I can't with the dogs. I bet she uses it. Shut up. Alright. Yeah, there you go. And you have a chip box. Uh, Monday 6 or 7, Thursday 6 or 7, Saturday 6 or 7. And opposite that, you've got an information hub. It's a bit dark in here, my love. It's very well done though. You've got places to eat, you've got local takeaways, uh, services, a hospital, pharmacy and vets, important information, where the supermarkets are. Yeah, that's 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 very, a bit very... of good information that is good. And this is the cafe. Unfortunately it's not licensed, so I was talking to the girl. Hang on a minute, unfortunately it's not licensed. I'm not buying anything anyway. Yes you are, we're going to the cafe. It's open from seven o'clock, did she say in the morning? Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's the menus, breakfasts, and then telephone numbers for buses, trains, and taxis. Yes, that's very, very useful, that is. Uh, the walks to the local, Chadlington, Caston, and Saltway. Lovely, I'll do one of those over the weekend. I'll do that, folks. Happy! Go on, then. She's a bit shy. I am. Go on then, welcome us. Welcome to Cotswold View Touring Park. Happy holidays. Happy bloody holidays. Why are you shy? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> She's camera shy, people. <laughs> so right opposite reception, apparently there's a beautiful walk to take your doggies. And there's a dinosaur trail. You'll fit in quite well there, won't you? Unbelievable. Oh, is somebody coming? The dog. There you go, the dinosaur trail. You can read that, can't you? 
And they've even got a little petting area. You've got some sheep, uh, some donkeys up there. And also you can have uh, disc golf. That's where they throw frisbees, I think, into nets or whatever. Not too sure, but yeah. And also in the woods, you've got a bit of uh, exercising equipment. That's one of the frisbee things. What? What you aim to put your frisbee in. Oh yeah, you chuck frisbees yeah. in there apparently. So you have to be careful not to be with one. Oh, where's the frisbees? You have to hide, I don't know, you're higher than other boats. Do you? Man, I'll tell you something, I like it here. This is a nice place to come. It is a really, really lovely yeah, yeah. place. I mean, you know, if you don't like activities and that, you can just go for walks and it's all like bark on the floor. So you don't get caked in mud everywhere, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Happy? Happy! I don't know what that woman didn't know what to make of her, you know. Velociraptor. Yeah, there Hi, you I'm go. Vinny the Velociraptor. Did you know the Velociraptor was a carnivorous predator who ate meat? Yeah, I did. Ooh. It is for children. I bet you didn't know that. Of course I, I knew that. I bet you that. couldn't even pronounce it. Bloody hell, people, it's going to be one of them days again. Yes, lovely. And we have just been told if we want to use a scooter, so we can get on the scooters, use them wherever we want. Yes. How about that? How then? about that? On a side. Happy with that. Watch the frisbees, because the frisbees are throwing. I mean, somebody's throwing frisbees. Yeah, so in this forest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go on, love. So it's, I'll let you get a word in. Thank you. So the frisbee thing is based on golf. So this one here. It's par three. It's, it's number two on the white course, and it's par three, yeah. which means, Robert, what does par three mean? I don't play golf, I don't know. You've got three attempts to get the frisbee in the Yes, basket. I knew that, I was just testing you. Yeah, so, there you go. So you've got these scattered around the side. There's one up there. You've just got to be careful of flying frisbees while you're walking the dogs. Yes. Especially yeah. if Robert's playing. Well, great fun. Brilliant. There you go, there it is, the basket. Yeah, yeah, there's the basket, look. I just think it's fantastic the way they got it set up, I really do. So that's par, this is number two on the blue course, which no, is that's a par, par three. three. Par three, number two, yeah. No, what? it's number two on the blue course, and again, it's par three. He hasn't got a clue we got. I think I'll go sit in the van. I'm and, enjoying you. And then you've got a bit of an open bit there. We'll go around in the scoots tomorrow. A bit of a green. Yes. I think that's enough walking for one day. <laughs> the whiskey is calling. She's trying to get me in that calf. I am. We're going for pizza at four o'clock. Well, no, no. We'll rephrase that. We're going to have a look, see how much they are. No, we go. We are going for pizza at four o'clock. I don't even like bloody pizza. Well, we still ain't got going. much choice on the to the old bird. No, we've got to review it, haven't we? Now, how can we review the food if we don't try it? We haven't got to review anything. But we can. We can, yeah. So we'll, we are. We'll check it out because so far we would recommend you to come here. One hundred percent, loving it at the moment. But we'll keep looking. Give us a kiss. No. <laughs> Dutch, come on. Come on, Dutch. And it's great for the dogs as well. Right, we're back at the old shed. It's still not open yet. The times are Sunday to Friday, 7.30 till 4. All right, okay. Breakfast served 7.30 to 11. Lunch served 12 till 2. And then pizza, 11.30 till 2.30. And then it opens again at 4, I think. There you go. I'm not buying anything there, folks. Don't know, it's a... Believe him. Well, I wondered where he got to. And he's, yes. out, he's outside playing. Because I've got one on the other side, and I'm going to stick one on your side, because you keep moaning. OK? Yeah, thanks again to Kevin Davis, who did our stickers and the T-shirts and everything. He's bought you one of those up, hasn't he? Yes. So... So, you're just going to take your time when doing this. Don't get my ball patching. <laughs> you got that one? <laughs> you just got to have a bit of patience see people, you know what I mean? Something that you lack. Yeah. And then... Here goes nothing. There you go. Steady does it, steady does it. It's coming along nicely. Yeah. 
There we go. One <sighs> to heaven. And Happy with that, folks. Happy. He's only taking me out for breakfast. Oh, here we go. £26, two breakfasts, a tea and a coffee, or two teas, what have we had? I did ask for coffee, but I think it was a bit complicated for him. I don't know, looking at the bill, I think, I think I've ordered 14 oh, points. You've got me an Americano, which has got milk in. I asked for a black coffee with one sugar. And that 26 was not, quid month. Yeah, and that was £2.65 for Americano, £2.30 for a uh, cup of tea, and £10.95 each for the breakfast. We can't uh, sit inside because it's full, so we're outside in the rain. It's not rain, we are undercover. Do you want to show them it? Because it's very pretty. Yeah. There you go. Where you get your food from there, I think? Pizzas. So it looks like a day of being cosy, stopping in the motorhome, I'll be editing as usual. Mm, oh, we are going to go and have a look round. Uh, on this site they've also got... Um, pubs. No, they've got pods, which pubs. I think we said pods, which we said yesterday, which are either furnished or unfurnished. I think we can get it in an unfurnished one. And also a B&B, &B. they do a B&B &B here at the farmhouse, so she said uh, as they're changing over for that we can go and have a quick look in there. It's a very nice side. Yes. Very, very nice side. And the tea and coffee's arrived. And the lady's here with the tea and coffee. And she's going on YouTube and she doesn't know. There you go. Got the tea. That one there, thank you. Thank you. Looks very nice though, people. Yours. Can I have your sausage? Later. <laughs> Don't be rude. Unbelievable. Oh, there you go. And some toast. Looks very nice. Whiskies. No, food. Better get off my phone again. I am answering comments and liking everything. Well, people I know I moaned about the price of it, but that was absolute quality. Beautiful food. You don't food. mind, I've just said to you, didn't I? You don't mind paying for something when it's as good as it was, and it really, really was. Yeah, totally you recommend yeah. the breakfast here. Everything on that plate was quality. Yeah, really, 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 really impressed with that. The impressed and with me? I had to actually open the HB sauce. So it's not, you know, like you go to some cafes and it's, uh, they use the bottle and put the inferior product in. And you have hard burn for a week? Yeah, you suffer with that, don't you, if you have cheap brain sores? Yes, quality. So, well, I recommend it. Yeah, what, what are we doing now? Well, we're waiting for Carrie to come and show us around the pod or the B&B. Yeah. And it's still absolutely persisting. And I've got bacon stuck in my teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you turn the cat on. So also on site you've got these amazing little pods. I think I mentioned them earlier. This is an unfurnished one and these are £55 a night. So there's absolutely nothing in it but you've got electric and lights. 
I'll have a look. Yeah, so you bring all your own gear. Yeah, bring everything yourself. I don't want to go in because... No, I I've won't go in because of our feet. feet. Yeah. And people are actually booked to stay, to stay in here later. Right. But, yeah, it's... Uh... You grab my brolly then and I'll have a look. <laughs> you grab this one then. Hey, right. put me here. Shut up, Robert. I don't want to get wet walking from one to the oh. other. There you go. All that. <sighs> there you go. So you bring your own blow up beds, I presume, all your gear, and you can have this for 55 quid a night. Yeah, cosy. Also, also, you've got your bench and your fire pit for when the weather's not like today. Yes. Well, you can't have a fire pit now, can you? You can have a go. And there's Carrie, look, hiding, because she's camera shy. Bless her. Unbelievable. Bloody hell people, it is absolutely caning it down. Uh, anyway, this is the next size pod. Unfortunately Carrie can't find the price because it's dearer than 55. And this sleeps four people. Four people. Six. Six sorry. people. Six. Any advance on six? <laughs> two adults, four, two children. Okay. Four children. Let me do you. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, that's nice. Very cosy. Just going to say that. And you've got a couple of sockets down there. And a couple of sockets down there. And somewhere to hang your coat. Yeah, I threw that, folks. Look at her, yeah. <laughs> and they also do these pods with. Uh, come furnished and they're 95 pounds per night which you've got all your bedding in there your tables and whatever so yeah it's all to everybody's budget and I've got me brolly up look folks check the fifth wheel out right? Rockwood Ultralight happy with this? man this weather is so bad I've got cold toes this is good who wears sandals in this weather? <laughs> Me and Carrie. Yeah. Mind you, to be honest, my feet are bloody soaked as well. Hi, right, people. Now we've got a break in the weather. Yeah, it's actually gone quite warm. The, hair, got... the hair's just gone frizzy. Got wet. And mine, so I've got my hat on. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at uh, an on-site b, b Yeah, it's uh, attached to the farmhouse, because this used to be a, a large working farm. Yep. So we're going to go and have a look at that, show you around. What an amazing site. They think, they've thought of everything here, haven't they? Everything that you possibly want. Going on a bit today, aren't you? <sighs> I'll shut up, shall I? Yeah, please do. They've even got electric vehicle charging stations. Two of them. Brilliant. Right, so we're going to have a look now, people, in the piggery. Yeah, it's the bed and breakfast. It's one of two rooms we're going to go and have a look yeah. at. The price for it is £120 for a couple, but that includes breakfast, and the breakfasts are £11 each. Well, £26 pound yeah, just cost us for drink. two breakfasts, so if you knock that off, yeah. Or so. £95 a night for singular, single occupancy. So, yes. yeah, let's go and have a look. Yes. After you, my little angel. You yeah, he wants to do it. Oh, don't. There you go. The piggery. B and B. And you've got a nice little terrace there you can see terrace on. And this, when the weather is nice, you've got complimentary bottles of water, tea bags, biscuits, books, toilet roll. Yep. Wipe your feet, really. Wipe your feet. Come here. Come on, wipe your little feet. There you go. Unbelievable. You don't want to get shaped in that, do we? Yes. Very pleasant. Room. Yeah, that is a nice bathroom, isn't it? Oh, look, there's a picture of you on the wall. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hang on. Yes, that's a nice size, well, massive wet room, come toilet, come bathroom. What a lovely room. There's a little chair there. There's a little pig's there, look. Well, it is the piggery. You've got your TV, your kettle. And a massive bed. Really nice. I always go a bit funny when I see a bed. What, you need to sleep at your age? 
Unbelievable. Yeah, and I've just noticed up there you've got two USBs as well. Yeah, very, very nice, very nice. So for £120 you can spend the night here, including breakfast. If you bought the breakfast on its own, it's gonna cost you 26 quid, so that's the way you gotta look at it. Nice, eh? Beautiful. Let's crack Let's on. Let's go and have a look at the other room. Now, the obvious reason why there were pig pictures everywhere is... Well, look, it was obvious to me, but on, it wasn't obvious to Robert. This area used to be the pigsties. Yeah, the this piggery. used to be full of pigs, isn't it? That's what it's called, the piggery. I mean, anybody with any common sense would have worked that one out. Don't know why I bother people. Don't know why I bother. Well, we are now in room seven, which is the same price. Um, it's a larger room, but the other room was more for an accessible room. So people like who need... Disabilities. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So lovely, lovely big yes. room. And we just found out, yeah, this was like the end of the pigsty. It's mad, isn't what it? What a difference. Back in the day, because the, the lady, I think she's the daughter of the... Well, she actually owns this place now, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah, yeah. But uh, she can remember working in here when it was a pigsty, which yeah. is, you know, crazy, and, isn't it? And the tractor going up here. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, getting rid of all the poop. You finished. And you said, like, Lynn, for me to stand over there to get... No, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'll shut up. Bloody hell. I'm rambling. Yeah, massive bed again. Yes, a very pleasant room. Bit of a garden out there. You are looking very proper on there. Shut up, Robert. Okay. You got your TV. Tea, coffee, biscuits. Yes, it's nice. It is nice. It's a very comfortable yes. room. More pigs. Well, it would be. <laughs> oh. Then you've got your toilet and your shower. Yes. £120 night again, people? Yeah. But this is a bigger room. With a smaller bathroom. With a smaller bathroom. Yes, because the other bathroom is yeah. an accessible bathroom. Yeah, but I just said to the owner, I'd prefer a bigger room. Yeah, but some Even people... the bathroom small. Yes, but some people who need accessibility need a larger bathroom. I agree. To manoeuvre about more. I'm just bloody hell. It's one of them, isn't it? Well, yeah. Beautiful place. Yes. Maybe one day you'll actually treat me to a and b or maybe one day I won't. Yeah, we've done one hotel this year, haven't we? Because of the wedding, can't see it happening again anytime soon. Every every leap year. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> and this is room. I don't know whatever number room it is, no. but it's got a bath. Yes. Please, can we stay one night? Uh no. Yeah, massive mirror there, and you've got a bath there, and me there. And a room with a view. We, Seti? Chair. What did you say the, the valley was called? Valley. Which, which? Valley. I don't know, but it's a room with a view, people. Looking out over there. Over the valley. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. So, if you've got friends, that you, if you're camping and you've got friends that... Who camp, haven't got a motor home or a caravan or a tent. You can either, you could stay here on, in a pod or in a, one of these rooms and have a wonderful uh, holiday together. And a beautiful breakfast. Oh, yes. Oh, the breakfast is bang on. And I'll tell you if it's crap, but it's good. Shut up. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, lovely. And can we just say about the side people? Everybody is so friendly. Even the owner. Helpful. The owner is absolutely a lovely lady yeah, too. Yeah, she doesn't know uh, how to take Lynn, but uh, she got on well with me. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. So would you recommend people to come to this side? 100%. Yeah. I, you, can't, you cannot fault it. No. And like I said, if you want to come as a group yeah. and you, somebody hasn't got a caravan or a tent or whatever, yeah. they can stop in the B&B. There's the farmhouse you can rent out, which is extremely expensive, and it's through somebody. But if you whittle it down, I think it holds seven families, doesn't it? So yes. brilliant, absolutely. Yeah. Cannot fault the place. Yeah, that's a fact. Caters so, yeah. for everybody. It really does. Yeah, there's a bit. There's a bit here for every. You know, for every age group. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Perfect for kids. Perfect for couples. Loving couples like us. Perfect for single people. Whatever. It's perfect. So yeah. Very happy with that. Happy. So, on that note. <laughs> on that note, we will say a fair words. Oh, we just want to say a massive thank you to the site for inviting us here. Yes, it's uh, Cotswold View.
Yes. We'll Car be... Carrie has been amazing. Yeah, we'll definitely be back. Yes. So on that note, people, we'll say our farewells. So stay safe for the cavernous motorhomers, tenters, drifters, scribes, all new. It's all of you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. Thank you.